On part uh, three of uh, this guide, I'm going to show you how to assemble the frame of the quad. Uh, you can take a look here first on the instructions, but uh, if you look close enough, you are going to spot some uh, errors. Uh, first of uh, and uh, the biggest error, it's uh, this one, assembling this, uh, this uh, step finally. It shows that to use a small 3x6 screw which goes to the bottom plate and on the upper plate to a column that goes to the top plate. But you can uh, take a look here. So I choose a, a bottom plate. I put uh, an arm here. You can see the arm is pretty thick. And then I have another plate here, so I get this space between the plates and in the manual they show to drive a screw to both of them into a column. First thing uh, that uh, it will happen if you put a screw to both of them, it will force them and you can break them and also using a small screw like this will not be enough to pass to both of them so it's definitely wrong uh, you should actually fix the columns first on not on the bottom plate but on the second plate here and then fix the second plate to the bottom plate with the arms so let's do it first i'm going to take out all the screws and the columns It should be like this first. We take a small screw like this and fix it to the column. A good idea would be to also use uh, some uh, Loctite on the screws, only if you are certain of uh, what you are doing. It uh, will prevent the screws from getting loose because of the vibrations. Anyway, after you test the flight, you should check all the screws to be really tight. You don't want them to get loose during flight. So, the first two columns are installed. To be able to make the columns uh, very tight, screwed, I'm going to use a piece of uh, paper towel and a uh, flat uh, head uh, pliers. I'm going to grab a column and then uh, keep it pressed with the pliers. As a paper towel it's for uh, preventing uh, unnecessary scratches and then you can actually tighten each screw enough so it will not get loose during flight. Now let's install the bottom plate and uh, the arms it's uh, very easy to do that uh, we are going to use the longer uh, bolts here and the nuts which have uh, also a locking washer included you can see here a small plastic washer this is to prevent it from uh, getting loose so we are going to fix the arm in its position and the screw should go straight through like this and I'm 
going to install all the four screws. Another one. All right. So four screws here. And now we can add already add the bottom plate. The screws will go to, through that also. So it's like this. Like this. And we add four nuts. I'm not going to use a key to tighten them up now. Just gonna install them by hand so the screws will not fall and the plates should be loose like this. And for the rest of the arms, I'm just going to insert them between the plates and install the screws. I have also did a small mistake. I have installed the arms with the landing gear uh, reversed, but it's easy to correct. You just slide these parts like this, and you can take them out easily. You can also use the plier for better grip. And after you take it out, you can reverse it on the other side. So if this is wrong, it should be like this. I'm gonna put it back like this, okay, and slide it in its position like this. All four arms uh, were installed. Now uh, we can uh, tighten them up as uh, they are loose. For that I'm going to use a plier and uh, a screwdriver. Uh, it would be better to use a hex key or a, a tubular key for uh, holding uh, these uh, nuts, but I don't uh, have one available now, so I'm just going to use the plier. The forearms are installed, uh, all that remains is the top plate, which I'm not going to install now because I need the space to work on the electronics, but I can install the tempers to the uh, top plate and the stabilizer plate, which will uh, carry the onboard camera. The tempers must go through this small holes here you should take a lot of care here to avoid unnecessary damage to the damp dampers first one is installed I'm gonna install the rest And now I'm gonna install the top plate. This will be harder to get installed as you need to pull the damper straight. One was, one was easy but the other ones will get a lot more harder to do. I'm gonna try to use something to push them a bit out and then pulling them. It 
it's a tedious action. So that wasn't too hard. I actually managed to install all the tempers. You can see how the plates move independently. So that's about it on uh, the frame installation. We also have this uh, part that goes like this. And it's a sandwich between the top plate and the bottom plate and it goes like this and it's used for uh, uh, fixing an uh, onboard camera for the FPV system while the top plate is for a secondary camera like a GoPro camera bye bye